Hey, Jason McCann with Mountain Tactical Company, and we have been on a quest for a solution to the $150 CTR mags that are sold out everywhere. Let me show you what we got. All right, so there's nothing wrong with the CTR magazine other than they're expensive. $150 for a magazine and you're, I mean, the availability is the biggest issue. You can use TRG-22 magazines, they're the same price, they just have a metal base plate instead of a plastic one, uh, and they're difficult to find as well. So, what's the solution? We created an AICS compatible bottom metal that's a drop-in piece for the CTR. No modifications are needed to the rifle. If you have an aftermarket stock that's inlet for a CTR, this is going to work. We put a barricade stop in the front, so if you're shooting competition or resting your rifle uh, on the magazine, you can have feed issues. This uh, gives you a nice support for your rifle system. We even did a nice ergonomic mag release. Most of the other uh, AICS conversion kits on the market just have a flat bar. We wanted something that was a little more tactile, a little easier to function, and just didn't want a sharp edge uh, on the rifle. So. Here is the most expensive AICS magazine you can buy, and it's $80. There's also AICS clones all the way down to $35. Like I said, and this one's $80, the most expensive one. And then you can just be shooting, move forward, releases. So let's take a, give you an idea of how this works. All right, so let's go over what we did here. We wanted to make sure that the mag will really held the mag in place. So we have side supports on the mag well. We want to make sure we had a barricade stop in the front so that way, you know, if you're shooting, you're, you're using a barricade, you're not changing the angle of the magazine in the uh, action so you have more reliable feeding. We also beveled all the edges inside the mag well so that way if your mag's dirty if you're cold if you're you know doing a fast mag change you can get into that mag well as quickly as possible we also added a ramp in the front again just to make those mag changes smooth and effective you notice we don't have just the standard bar uh, with sharp edges on it for the mag release this is a nice curve to match the curvature of your finger uh, mag release this is made out of authentic stainless steel, so it's phenomenally corrosion resistant, and it is going to stand the test of time on here. Larger trigger guard, so that way uh, if you're shooting with gloves, you can get in there on the trigger uh, without any issues whatsoever. And then all of these surfaces here are uh, filleted, they're beveled, uh, so that way there's no sharp edge, so under recoil, under a compromised shooting position, if you had your finger up against there, you're not going to hit a sharp edge uh, on your finger. So, uh, let's go into how this functions. Alright, so load and make ready is just like any other magazine fed rifle. Have our modified P mag, we're locked in, I'm on target. Now, let's say I'm empty and I'm in a competition. We have the flat bottom here, so you can slide this forward. The ramps make it real easy to do a blind mag change. Feet around, and I'm still on target. So I know one of the first questions we're gonna get is which AICS magazines are compatible with our bottom metal? The answer is all of them are compatible with the bottom metal. The thing is, some of them you have to modify to make compatible with the Tika Action. So, your standard AICS mags, uh, Accurate mags, any of the metal magazines, Alpha mags, uh, the, the uh, feed lips are nice and narrow, and they go right into the action. So you can see this junction here, the feed lips need to actually go inside the action for proper feeding. So pretty much all the metal mags out on the market are going to be just fine. Um, for polymer mags, let's say you're converting a 223 to AICS. This is the AICS 223 mag. See, you can't get that mag all the way in there. 
And so what you need to do is you need to remove some material from the outside of the feed lips to make sure that the magazine can go all the way up into the action. Same is true with the Magpul AICS magazines. These are phenomenal uh, magazines. You just remove some of that material from the side of the feed lips so you can make sure that that magazine will go all the way up. And you can see it almost goes all the way up, but it just needs a little bit more material removed from the side of the feed lips uh, right here. Uh, if you want a polymer mag that's just a drop-in fit, the MDT mags work phenomenally well. Uh, Gino over there actually designed the uh, MDT mags around the Tika Action and they, have, they already have narrower feed lips, so it just works right out of the box. So, uh, if you want something that works out of the box, either the MDT or one of the metal AICS variants, uh, if you were willing to put a little bit of work into it, the Magpul uh, works phenomenally well. Uh, you're just going to have to take a Dremel or a file or some sandpaper and remove some material until that mag will see all the way into the action. So if you have any questions, as always, give us a holler, tikaperformance.com, and uh, happy shooting, everybody.